numeric patterns. In this module, you will learn to identify numeric patterns. Mother, please come here. I have something to show you. What is it, Sid? Look at my abacus, mother, and see what I have made. This looks good. Do you know what have you made? Yes, I learnt geometric patterns using colours and objects in school. So, I used different colours of beads and made a geometric pattern. See different colours of beads like blue, red, white, green and yellow and the colour repeats in the same manner again. This is looking good. Now count the number of beads in different spikes. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Do you see any pattern in it? Yes, numbers 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 are repeated. Okay, then it becomes a repeating pattern as the number and also beads are repeating in the same manner. Yes, I know this. I have learnt about repeating patterns in the class. Do you see something else in the numbers? Yes, it is a skip counting of two. Yes, you are right here. It is a skip counting of two. Here, we see that numbers keep increasing by 2 as 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8 and 8 plus 2 is 10. We keep adding number 2 to the previous number to make a pattern. This is also called a numeric pattern. Since the numbers are increasing with same difference, it is called increasing or growing pattern. Let me flip the abacus. Now, read the numbers of beads again. Okay. They are 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. 10, 8, 6, 4 and 2. Oh yes, I see another number pattern. We are subtracting number 2 each time. Since the numbers are decreasing, can we call it a decreasing pattern, mother? Yes, we call it decreasing or reducing pattern. Let's recap. In other words, we can say that a growing or increasing number pattern is a pattern in which the numbers increase. The amount added changes each time in a known way. We use operations such as addition and multiplication to form the growing pattern. For example, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and so on. Here we have added number 10 to the previous number to get the next number and make a pattern. Similar to a growing or increasing pattern, we can deduce the reducing or decreasing pattern. For example, 1000, 900, 800, 700 and so on. Here, we have subtracted number 100 from the previous number to get the next number and make a pattern. In other words, we can say that a reducing or decreasing number pattern is a pattern in which the numbers decrease. The amount subtracted changes each time in a known way. We use operations such as subtraction and division to form a reducing pattern.